Hi everyone, so um, I've been filing for hours, um, we're getting, as you can see it's getting quite close to a, a, a circle. I've let it run away with me a little bit there, um, but uh, because i could got to put the slot in that, I wasn't too worried about that. So um, uh, yeah, I'm managing to keep it, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but bearing in mind we're... Um, We've got to come out another millimeter to um, to reach the size of the um, the spindle. Yeah, so um, but we're we're roughly a whole a circle now, so um, we're in a reasonable position. And if I turn you over, the other side's not too bad. Still, obviously, got the same same faults there. Um, we're, it, it is touching in a few places, but we're. Um, we're getting there, so um, yeah. Um, so what I, I've been doing basically, um, as I, as I got nearer, well, as I was uh, filing, I was just really holding this up against against the the, the plug gauge, and then um, just just marking. I was either using the china pencil just to mark the inside um, or, or sharpie. <clears throat> and then I would focus on that, but also keeping in mind the um, uh, the line, you know, the mark out lines, because you can get carried away that you think there's a mark there, but we're shifting the whole thing over that way, really. So I was trying to keep it pretty much in the centre. So once I got to a stage where it, it w went on, then I just started pushing it on and then actually twisting it and what you would get, I don't know whether you'll be able to see these, uh, but you'll get, um, you'll get, let's have a look. You'll get some marks in there, so it gives you an indication where it's touching. So then I was just filing, filing those. So yeah, it's just, you know, basic fitting really. Um, so I've got a little, little bit further to go just to get it on the, on the plug and hopefully I can take some, a little bit of the irregularities out. Um, then I'm going to um, turn that, turn this down, like I said in the last video, just to be a bit closer. So I gain it. Just gives me a check that I'm um, staying on track, rough, you know, round wise. Um, and then, so I will make that. So this is about. Uh, I've got about a millimeter to go, half a mil each side. So I'll make that um, about half a mil. So that'd be 14 and a half. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll carry on. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit, of, that's how, I, how far I've got at the moment. So I'll just carry on and, uh, as Mark would say, um, bring you back when there's um, some more to show. Hi, right, everyone. So um, just a bit of an update. <clears throat> I turned, uh, turned it down another shoulder. And we're starting to get some um, some sort of fit in there um, from both sides, so that's good. Um, so all that I'm doing, just as before, putting it into the into the hole and twisting it to get a a mark where we touch. So if I mark this up with a black pen or with the sharpie, then you can see. <clears throat> so I'm getting a touch there, and I'm getting a touch there. There, there. And that one. Okay, so what we can see is it's pretty much all the way round. Um... So it's good in, it, in as much as if I just keep filing roundwards, I will um, I will get there. I'm not, you know, I'm not going off into a big sort of uh, um, or, um, yeah. I'm not getting lost. I'm keeping it fairly round. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, um, but what it is telling me is uh, that I'm. I'm filing, let me show, sort of that way. 
because it's touching on the the edges and it so this is the high point here but obviously all, all this is high as well in the center so that's not so good i mean I, i'm clearly doing it equally because it but um so what um so it won't take much based on my experience of the other one getting to the other measurement to to bring that down um, so so we're going in the right direction what I've been doing I, I haven't mentioned this um, I don't know whether you'd be able to see that I've been using a a, a second cut file um, for most of the work so I'm going to move over to a, a smooth one so I can try and start to uh, pay a bit more attention to the uh, the finish so as I'm filing so basically from now on what I'll, all I'll do is I'll just um, file off, mark it up where it's touching, file off those areas, it takes me about, I don't know, you know, less than a minute, take it back out of the vise, put the plug in and keep going around until I just slowly get rid of the high spots and then eventually the plug will just go through. So then we're very close, we're within a half a millimetre of, so that would be 34 and a half. So then we've just got half a millimeter till it fits uh, one of the spindle or the spindle, um, and so that's pretty good. I think I've got tennis elbow because um, all this fine. No, not really. Um, anyway, so that's where we are. Um, coffee cup's empty. I'm uh, getting a bit tired now, so I'll probably call it a day for today and come back um, and do some more tomorrow. Okay, so. Um, We'll see you tomorrow. Hi everyone. Well, it's still the same day. I never managed to go home. I just wanted to get this done. So I think it's about an hour and a half later from um, when I said I was going home. So um, let's uh, see if you can see that. So we've got a pretty uh, reasonable fit there. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a bit, um, it's, it's, it's quite a close fit and what I what, want to do is, because it's two pieces, when I split it I want to just finish off then. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, um, pretty good, that's the other side, so it's, as you can see, it's uh, reasonably hole shaped, so um, yeah okay with that so that worked well what i did do um which is a little bit crazy i ended up using a i used a scraper for some of it when i got very close to it i was just taking the center when i because i was feeding the spindle in from both sides and i could see a mark where it was touching i then could just use the scraper and take off just the element in the middle you know um, so yeah, it worked well. So anyway, so um, that bit's done now. <clears throat> so tomorrow I'm going to chop some bits off here. Um, and then, uh, well, drill some holes, I guess. I wish I'd drilled the holes first because if I mess it up now, after all this work. But anyway, that's for tomorrow. So, but with the power of uh, video editing, it'll be in about a uh, few seconds all right see you later hi everyone so um i've been busy filing away today um it's coming on okay um so other than i did make a bit of a what i did was i marked it out and then sawed as much of the metal away with a hacksaw but um i got so close to the line now and it's I'm going to be able to recover it, but it's really hard work, you know. Um, so just to show you what I'm doing, I've been sort of doing now. Um, so if I push this in, so now we've got the template of the shape of it, because it has to be no uh, particular shape really. I'm now trying to. Um, match up the sides and because I've 
made a bit, got it so close to the line, it's a bit of a challenge really. So um, as you can see, we've got it pretty much, we got take off some there and some more around here. So really that that's, I'm fairly close to the line now. So just using the fine, um, uh, fine cut um, files and then just, just keep, you know, keep filing away till, uh, till I get there. So um, I've done for today now, I've had a bit of a tidy up and um, I'm gonna drink my coffee and then I'm gonna shoot off home and then uh, do a bit more tomorrow. So uh, it's really annoying that if I wasn't, to be honest, if I hadn't got so close to the line, because there's no real dimensions, I would have just made them both match. Now I've got a, you know, a fair bit more work to cut to get this side to match. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, all pretty good. I can't remember the whether I showed you this yesterday. I'll show you it in the next part. But I got a, a really good, um, yeah, I did show you. Yeah, good fit on that. So anyway, so that's it for the moment. And uh, do I'll do some more tomorrow, and then hopefully. Uh, get those to be ma to match up i'll show you anyway how i get on all right then thanks hi everyone so um as you can see i've been filing away um hopefully you can see this uh so that gives me the imprint there turn it over yeah it's not perfect so but you know I think of where I let it get away from me, it was it was um, it was too much to get back. So um, and and I've been working on it quite a bit to go. I mean, it's been quite quite hard work. I, you know, I've even had to call in emergency uh, biscuits to uh, keep me sane. Um, but as you saw the other or oh, earlier on in the video. So I think from a marks out of 10, we probably eight on this, uh, on the shaping or keeping these both the same. I don't know, five maybe. So, um, but anyway, that's where we are. Um, so I've run out of time really, because I don't want to make these videos super long. Um, so I will end up making a fourth one when I, um, Let's move that over. I'll split these, drill the holes, and then just plug them on, and then we'll cut the slot there. So, um, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, so it's been quite. It's been. It has been a, a good exercise. I've. I, I have quite enjoyed it, um, and and it's got my hand back in a bit. So um, so that's good news. Um, yeah. So that's it for to, for this uh, video. So as always, uh, stay happy, strong and healthy. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.